Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we've got Roma away in the second leg of our Europa League quarter-final. You might be wondering, you won 7-1, why are you showing us this? Well, if you've watched any of my videos in Europe, you know, away from home in Europe in the last stages, we generally lose 6-1, 3-1, 9-1, 10 We've lost by large amounts in the past, so I'm still not certain. They've just got to win 6-0 and they go through, which we are quite capable of letting them do. And then we're going to take on Liverpool... At, it's at Wembley, isn't it? To the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. We know I don't like Liverpool. And they will beat me. We know they will. <laughs> so the domestic treble is... Well, sorry. The treble is still on, but it's not the real one, is it? Because it's only Europa League. So we've got the, we should win the Premier League. We're nine points clear at the moment with a game in hand. We might win the FA Cup. We should. If we beat Roma here, only City are left that really concern me. And they do concern me, but even though they have a horrendous season, they're down in 11th. I mean, what is going on at City? they got some of the best players in the league. I mean, look at this boy. And they're down in 11th? I don't know. Sergio Coensau? Coensau? I have no idea how you have ever said that. Manuel Latins. I mean, look at the left back. They, they're a good team, and they're down in 11th place. No idea what's going on. Southampton up there instead. But yeah, they're a good team, uh, and I'd still be concerned, even if they are 11th in the league. So, since you're laughing with me, nothing's happened. No games. We drew that game with Spurs, 3 all. Four games with Spurs this season. No wins. Alan Souza, best player in the league at the moment. Plays for Spurs. Didn't even play against us. Didn't even play against us. He just didn't bother. He thought, you know what, we'll send out the reserves. They usually deal with Darlington. Nicholas still top goal scorer. Still Nicholas and Silva. Second and third best players in the league. Silver, most assists. Nicholas, player of the matches. Second, Marzuki's catching up. Jelinek, is Jelinek good? Only 21. Mm, he could be good. He's got more potential than Marzuki, but you know what? Marzuki's better. And Bruski, second in King of the Bad Boys. We're nine points clear. With a game in hand, we should wrap up the league tomorrow, perhaps. Depends. We got Chelsea into tomorrow's episode. Will we have Chelsea? We might have Chelsea depending on the draw. If the Europa League's in here somewhere, we're definitely going to show you Chelsea anyway. Let's be honest. Let's get into today's game then. We, in fact, you know what? I'm going to show you how the finances look. We are £94 million overdrawn. We've made £176 million loss this season. And I blame the board because they refused when we had the money to build a bigger stadium. And we just don't bring enough in. And we've lost Champions League income. So that's my fault. That's kind of on me. Anyway, let's go and look at the team for this second leg. I've already picked it. We're going to go with... Where are we? Scott Kift's on a yellow. We're going to take Scott Kift out. That makes sense, wouldn't it? Marzuki, Bruski, Derizli, Brignon, Maravich, Meza has come in now because Eladrissi's out. So Troncoso's on this wing. Brito's on the other wing. Now, Brito can do whatever he likes on any wing. He's just... In fact, you can play him anywhere. You can stick him up front and he'd be good. In fact, I'm pretty sure it, it doesn't say there you can play up front. Hang on, let me see. If I put him up front, what does the star drop down to? Say, advance forward. So you can still play up there, even though... He... Bizarre. He's just a good player, isn't he? One of the best players in the world at the moment. It does say elite winger. No one did tell me. Is elite better than world class? Is it? Who knows? Anyway, let's get into the game and let's wrap this up fairly quickly. If we score a goal early on, that's a game over. If they score a couple... We could be in trouble. We could. They do have the best striker in the world at the moment. Who I would love to buy. Uh, and he is playing. There he is. Marlon Danovic. Paolo Fonseca is their manager. I did guess that last time. They, they do have a couple of good, good players. I thought that was Jose Font on the bench there. It's not because he, he would be in his late 80s by now. Um, do, do, the media give it, we can't allow complacency. That's what I'm going to say. There wasn't many really options there. 7 1 up. At the Stadio Olimpico, they, their form isn't great. So, you know what, let's get out there. Not many of their fans have turned up. I have noticed that this year. Because, obviously, they lost 7-1 in the first leg. There is, obviously, less in the ground, which is interesting. Whereas before, it was just the same attendance. Constabi, Constabi, I'm going to struggle with that. Constabile, he scored. There you go, told you. We're five minutes in, they've scored already. This could get hairy. You see what happened with Napoli. We nearly blew that one. I've always had a soft spot for Roma. Not because they're mad, rabid, rabid nutters. You know, the ultras. But Francesco Totti was a, just a oh, brilliant player. I love Totti. Not like that. Stop it. I just thought he was a great player. We haven't had a shot yet. 
What is going on? Brignon. Ball out to Troncoso. Back to Silva. Silva. Puts it in front of Nicholas. Doesn't get there, Nicholas. But it's all the way back to Brignon. Brignon to Troncoso. Troncoso. Keeps going. He's still going. He's going to shoot from miles out. You watch. He's into the box. And he, he's just fallen over. He's had a lie down there. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what he's done. Pachicho brings it forward. Can we get a foot in here? Vulovic. Fortunato. Pachicho's in again. A good save by Marzuki. And thank God we have him. I mean, two out down to 16 minutes would have been scary. However, they do have a corner. It's into the box. It's headed clear. Let's go. Let's go more positive. We need to score. Or not even score. Get out our half. Ravella tries to play out wide. Brito gets there with his head. Nicholas turns. And we know what happens when he turns. He's just away. He aren't stopping him. He's put it through to Meza. Meza's in. And Meza's got the all-important away goal. I'd say it's game over now. That's what we needed. Meza's a fantastic little player. Bear in mind, he cost me 600 grand. Okay, he's only going to be a four-star player eventually. But, I mean, look. Really composed for the age of him. He's number 30. But he's only, like, 18, 19, I think. I think. I should really know that, shouldn't I? How is it? I was going to click his name. Deola. Constable. Deloya. 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 I don't know. mozuki has got it in his hands, though. Easy take from him. He looks up. He hoofs it forward. Nicholas heads it down to Meza. Meza. His second touch is a tackle there. Excellent stuff. After me saying how good he is. And his first touch let him down. Pachicho's got it out wide. Ball is the box. We've headed it clear. And Troncoso's got it. And he only knows one thing to do. He just runs. And he's still running. He's been tackled though. Fortunato. Milan Danovic. Who I really, really want. I really want him. And he's he's got into the box. And he's taken a dive there. Ref you cannot be given a penalty for that. My players ran straight to you going. He has dived there. What? Come on. Check the review. Say he's dived. That's what we want. Oh. Anyway. Who's stepping up? Ravella. Puts it into the bottom corner and it's 2-1. So they only need five goals to level the tie. <laughs> it's, it's possible. It's entirely possible with me. You know it. I know it. The stadium knows it. We've had one shot and scored it. Um, are we shooting on sight? No, we're going to shoot on sight. Let's do that instead. At least get the shot stats for a bit. Troncoso's having an awful game. He see in the bigger games, he just seems to not turn up. Brito's not playing very well, which is interesting. Pachicho gives it to Ravella. Back to Pachicho. Into Fortunato. Bulva. And it's 3 1. I did tell you. I did tell you it wasn't really straightforward this game. Uh, I'm going to have to throw something at my half time. We are just awful away from home. I don't know why. I, you're going to say it's because you play too open away from home. But. If you can beat a team at home 7-1, you shouldn't be going away and getting beat 7-1. You know, there should be very little difference. Ah. But we're at half-time. We've still got a four-goal advantage, which I'm not entirely... Uh, we're still... Got to, 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 to be sure I am, I'm far from pleased. I'm not going to go with the aggregate thing. We're far from pleased with that. But what can we do to stop this? Do we go more attacking? And give them something to think about? That's what we're going to do. We could play more defensively. And I could bring off a striker and play one up top. But that's not me, is it? It might be if they score here. Marzuki's got it. Thank you, Marzuki. Great dive. Derisley. Bruski. Brito. Brito, can he look up and give it? He can't. He's still going, though. He's still going. He's put it into Nicholas, and Nicholas puts it away, and it's 3-2, and now it's game over. Because they have to score six goals, they have to win on the night now, because of away goals rule. We can't draw, there's no penalties going to be involved here. Good run by Brito, lovely little disguise ball in here to Nicholas, and Nicholas first time, bottom corner, and it's 3-2. Nerves are settled, we've got more attacking, it's paid dividends, I know what I'm doing, I think. Uh, Man City are beating... Rail has that's Betis, isn't it? I think that's Betis. Uh, Maravich is one yellow card away from being banned, so we might get Maravich off in a minute. Troncoso, Brito's in. Brito just smashes that home, and it's three all. And now things are looking rosy. We scored ten goals in this tie now. 
<laughs> I mean, to, to think I was worried about losing it. Troncos is round four, and for the first time ever, he's played a pass. Brito just threw there, and there's just no, there's no finesse about that at all. He just smashed it right through him, and we will, we will get um, Maravich off. Maravich, where has he gone? It's Kiff, where's the other man? Bruce can go there. We're going to get Salazar on the other side. Where's oh, I don't know where. What's his name? Antonio Carlos should be on the bench. Who can play at right back? Doesn't matter anyway. Bruce can play there. Bruce is in fact the second best. There, Brito is knackered. Get Joey on. Joey can go out there and enjoy the room air. Get a bit of a tan, Joey. You know you want to. Bruski, Brig, not even though it's at night. Meza, Silver. Can we win on the night? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Meza gets tackled though. We're going to lose on the night instead. Here they are on the break. Mel- Melandanovic forward. Romeo. That's a good save again by Marzuki. Just a, he's just a good goalkeeper, isn't he? Solid. Rarely has a bad game. In fact, I don't think he's ever had a bad game. Had a well, but he's always, I mean, even his worst, he's a 6.5. You know? And there we go. A three-all draw. We're through. I can stop panicking. They've had loads of yellow cards. We've had none. Not a single yellow card. Happy with that tie went. Well done, boys. Finish the job off. Excellent stuff. There was some battle that you seemingly refused to subdue Brewski. Um, w- w- did it matter? Did it really matter? Anyway, send assistance. We've done all right there. So proud, absolutely delighted. We won in the did it on our ten four. We did. Luke Luke Cole. I thought I said Luke Charman. I miss Luke Charman. He did comment on one of my videos, which is amazing. It really is. Anyway, anyway, we get some money for that. It's just a drop in the ocean, isn't it? We got Atalanta next, which oh, is a difficult one of all the ties we're gonna go. I mean, City's the worst, but Atalanta. Or probably the next worst. When are these games then? So Chelsea, Atalanta, Everton, Atalanta. That could be the way we do it. Anyway, going to click on here for the FA Cup semi-final in three days. They're all knackered. Anyway, I'll see you in a second. Welcome back then for the FA Cup semi-final with Liverpool. Couple of changes. We got Kift back in. So we're going to go with Marzuki, Bruski, Kift, Brignon, Maravich, Meza, Silva, Brito, one wing, Troncoso, the other, Nicholas and Granelli. And results-wise in the Premier League, they've gone quite well for us. Chelsea only drew the last game, so we're now eight points clear. With two games in hand, they got four games to play, so they only get 12. So, feasibly, the game against, well, actually, the game against Chelsea, if we win, we win the league. That's it, simple as. And that'll be the next episode. But before that, little matter getting to the FA Cup final, so let's get in here. Liverpool are another one of those teams that seem to just cause us problems on a regular basis. Not quite as bad as Spurs have this year, but... In the past, they have done. They've still got McClory. They've still got Rayner. Cockdola. <laughs> he just he just dishes out them spam javelins all over the place. Tom Smith. And, I, yeah, I know I just used the word spam javelin uh, unironically there. Wolfgang Schneider is still the manager. They've got a great team. They've got a they're really good. We owe them. And there we go. We owe them after last match. Did they beat us? I think they did. Did they actually? I think they hammered us. But that was because I had no players. Or was that last season? All the seasons merge into one. Now we're in 2035. <laughs> McClory's got it. Cockdola into Reina. And there we go. We're 1-0 down already. We're 40 seconds in. I told you. Liverpool causes problems. Of course, we did have that. Our very first trophy was that magnificent game in the Carabao Cup that ended 5-4. Was it 5-4? Or 6-5? Or something mad like that. The best game I've ever had in Football Manager. Anyway. 1-0 down to 40 seconds. Not insurmountable yet. I'm a little bit <laughs> a little bit disappointed. Let's go more positive at least. Brito with a corner headed over by Nicholas. Come on, Nicholas. You normally score those. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on over here. There's some... Oh, ignore that. It's my phone ringing. I'll answer that in a minute. Anyway, y- you guys are more important than some... It's probably some spam. McClary's got the ball. He's coming forward again. We kicked him, which is always good. You should always kick him. Smith's in though, and it's a good tackle by Kift. That's why we like Kift. He puts his foot in, puts his body on the line for the cause, is what he does. Rojas, big ball forward, headed away by Brignon. Troncoso just legs it, like he does. He's still going, he's still going, and, and that's Troncoso in a nutshell. He will run the length of the field, beat every player in front of them, and then hammer a ball so high over the bar that NASA can see it. Whizzing past one of their satellites. Meza. 
brings it forward. Brito, Meta again. Meta's tackled. And maybe he's a little bit young to be playing in the centre midfield against Liverpool in this magnitude of a game. We got it back. Granelli over to the top. Nicholas. Nicholas is in. Nicholas has put it away. Come on! One all. Nicholas with a goal. He doesn't miss those, does he? He's missed a few of those. But Nicholas just scores goals. That's what he does. He's going to be 30 next season. And I need to replace him with zero money. It's going to be an interesting one. But look at that. First touch is great. Out his feet. Bottom corner. 23 minutes has gone. And we are now on top. We've had more of the ball. More shots. More shots on target. Better XG. But they still pose a threat. Granelli into Brito. Brito. I thought he was going to give it to Nicholas there. He didn't. He has now. And Nicholas is back in. And he's made it 2-1. And there you go. Nicholas and Brito combine. As they have so many times in the past. We're a good team. We are a good team. When everyone's there and available. If Eladrissi was here. It would be even better. But Brito finds himself in the midfield. Even though he's supposed to be on the wing. Puts it through to Nicholas. Who just does Nicholas things. Puts it in the back of the net. Nine shots. Four on target. We're so on top now. They're going to score, aren't they? Just to wind me up. It's into the box. Headed clear. Now, is Nicholas going to get there first? He does. Can he turn his man? He I mean, look at that turn. He's away from him like he's not there. Now, he's ran into Powell, unfortunately. Pessier. Hoops it forward. Liao. Out wide to Powell. Someone kick him. McClory's in. And McClory, of course, equalises. Because, like Nicholas, that's what he does. He just scores goals. That is a finish and a half. I, I say hoof forward. He picked him out there, didn't he? Liao. To Powell. Powell, just a good ball. And you've got to say, Brignon's on his heels there, and McClory's just hammered that into the net. Oh, well, at least it's interesting. They've got a free kick now. Rojas standing over it. Move over it a little bit, Marzuki, because he's got to put it right there where my mouse is. I told you. And we're 3 2 down after dominating this half. Oh. I told you to move over a little bit. He's always going to put that in that spot. And it's so close to the post as well. Meza's taking a knock. Great. Marzuki. Meza's got it. Gets to Silva. Silva brings it forward. Troncoso. Granelli. Granelli. Back to Troncoso. Troncoso into Nicholas. Nicholas to Brito. Oh no. We're going to see the fourth before half time. We can't be doing this. Cockdola brings it forward. Tackled. Great tackles. Who forward? Oh. That was a nearly sneeze. I know how... <laughs> I don't know came on from nowhere. Uh, I won't clip that. I'll leave it in as a strange mistake. I sound like Scooby-Doo. And they've had a shot from range. And that's it. Let's get in a half time and take Meza off. I'll, in fact, we'll do it. We'll do it now. Meza. I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring on Joey. Swap Joey for Brito. And do that. Get Brito more central. Cockdola, it's into the box, it's straight at Marzuki again. Um, what do you do? It's a very, very even game, and we're now losing. Uh, right. Show me something else, second half. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. I don't know what to say to them. We're conceding a lot of goals in these cup games. It's just the cup games we have problems with. The league, no issues at all, apart from Spurs. Uh, we're positive. We might go attacking. We might have to in a minute. Silver's got it though. Puts it out to Joey. Joey into Kift. Joey's just a safe pair of hands. You put him on, he gives you a performance no matter how long he's playing for. In fact, I should probably start him in more games. I mean, even there, look at that. Great header to Nicholas. Back to Granelli. Brito brings it forward. Can he pick out a man? He picks out Granelli, who, and to be honest, Granelli, that is. An expletively... It's just poor, isn't it? I wanted to swear at him there. Because that's rubbish. They've got it back, though. I, uh, that boy always struggled with. Rojas. Can we get a foot in here, Troncoso? Don't run alongside him. Get your foot in. Kift heads it clear, of course he does. And Granelli's on his toes. And Cabrini brings it forward. He's a terrible kit manufacturer. And it's wide from field. Right, so let's go more attacking. Is anyone playing back Troncoso? Have I got anyone to bring on for Troncoso? I've got Prosperi, haven't I? I haven't. Oh, I didn't bring... I'm annoyed myself. I've got new Prosperi on the bench. Oh. Anyway, we'll go attacking. That's all we can do. We'll go very attacking in a minute. Brewski to Kift. Back to Brewski. Brewski to Kift again. Brito. Brito, can he pick out a man now? 
He goes wide to Troncoso. Troncoso does pick out Nicholas, and Nicholas has equalised. Look at that. Troncoso, I was about to bring you off for being awful, and he didn't have anyone to bring on for you, and you've stayed on, and you created an app. That's a great ball, and another great take from Nicholas. I mean, look at the control from Nicholas here. Great ball, but look at this. On the Just the first touch makes that goal. Superb, and it's 3 all. And who says we don't have cracking games against Liverpool, eh? We do. Now you've got a free kick now. Morel is going to come on for Silva because Silva's knackered. And of course they go up there and score straight away. <sighs> right. Very attacking. Who's marking him there? What? Why is he there free in the centre of the box? We've had more of the game. We've had more shots. We've better XG. And we're losing again. Rojas. With a corner. It's headed clear. Now, can one of our strikers get there first? Of course not. Cabrini gets there. Maravich gets there, never mind. Granelli. Morel. Great ball into Nicholas. He's on a hat-trick. Oh, that would have been such a goal for your hat-trick. Oh, Brito's knackered. I'm not bringing Jovic. Uh, hang on. You know what? Pause, pause. We can do... What we can do is... Hmm... I don't want to take Brito off because he's amazing. Let's get Granelli off for Bovic. Bovic, Jovic. Yeah, we, yeah, just get him on. Get him on the pitch. Come on. We're going for this. They've got another free kick. Rojas, and it's off the bar. Gee, he can hit a free kick, can't he? He's nearly as good as Silver. I'm regretting not having Silver on the pitch now. Right, come on. There's four minutes out of time. Can we at least drag it to extra time here? Smith. It's blocked, and Brito's got it. You told me he was knackered, and look at the speed of him. Down the wing, he's still going. He's into the box. He shot straight at Pasilla, and maybe if he wasn't knackered, he'd have scored that. And I think that's our last opportunity. 10 on target, 21 shots overall. And Liverpool have done me again in the FA Cup semi-final. <sighs> Just. You know what, I'm pleased. There was good performance, apart from the defending. It won't have any impact on my team. I'm not worried. The board are going to be un annoyed. That was one to tell the grandkids about. If our finishing was a bit better, yeah. I see the race to see who's the best dance fan has already started. Oh. We get another million pounds for that. And I and I can be sad. Another season. We've only won one FA Cup. One. Was it two? I could suppose I could go check, couldn't I? Where's where? I could, if I check me... My history book overview. Does it say milestones? I just want to see my trophies. Where's all the trophies I've won? I can't see them. I can't see them. See, I can't, milestones. Is it in here? Yeah, but I just want to know competitions. There we go. We have won. I want. I don't want a biography. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I could just check Darlington's. Couldn't I? They haven't won anything else other than this. Uh, club info. I just want to see have we won competitions. There we go. We've won the FA Cup twice. There you go. Premier League four times. Champions League runner-up twice. Championship once. Carabao Cup once. We're not very good in the Cups, are we? We really aren't. That's the problem. Even down to the FA Trophy. Where's the FA Trophy? We didn't win that. We got to the final once there. They won it in 2011, of course, but that was the old Darlington. Anyway, anyway, this out leaves the league table and things like that. We obviously played no league games there today, but we did actually benefit of Chelsea drawing, so we're eight points clear, three games to go. Not much has changed around here. Beat Chelsea next episode, we win the league again. But, again, it's going to be a tough ask. We're at home, though, aren't we? So when are we coming back? Let's have a quick look. I did say, was it Chelsea? Yeah, Chelsea Atalanta. I mean, we could feasibly win the league here. Hmm. Well, we'll come back for Chelsea Atalanta. I mean, if we win it here, we'll pick up the trophy here. So you're going to get it either way. Chelsea Atlanta, and then Everton Atalanta, and then we'll see what happens after that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't mentioned the stream last night. Thanks very much for coming. Appreciate you all. We streamed a little bit longer to make up for the hour I missed on Thursday. We will make up that time eventually. Really appreciate all the subscribers on Twitch, all subscribers or channel members here. 
I mean, it's amazing. I, I can't believe people actually pay to see me talk rubbish about football manager. But I do appreciate it. And if you are enjoying this and you're new here, leave us a comment down below. If you're old here, leave us a comment down below. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all again at half four tomorrow.